boys and girls. I'm going to do a fraction lesson today using some fish and other adorable animals. So stay tuned. Fractions using animals. The top number tells how many animals or parts we are talking about. The bottom number tells how many animals or parts are in the whole group. How many ducks do you see, boys and girls? Did you say two? That is correct. What fraction of the ducks are white? First, you put the number two down for the total number of ducks, draw a line above the two, and write one for the one white duck. So the fraction of white ducks is one half. One half of the ducks are white. Great job. Wasn't that fun? Learning fractions. Now let's look at some more ducks. What is the fraction of black ducks in this picture? Remember, first we count how many ducks there are. How many ducks are there? Yes. Four. So you write down your four and draw a line how many are black. So boys and girls, what is the fraction of the black ducks? Did you say one fourth? You are correct! Yay! I want to show you some adorable newborn piglets with their mother. They are only one day old. How many of the piglets are brown? Remember, the bottom number tells how many in all, and the top number tells how many we are talking about. So did you say four piglets and two-fourths are brown, or we can say one half are brown. Let's look at these cute little piglets. What fraction of these piglets are white? Did you say one fourth? Because there are four piglets and one is white, so it's one fourth. Ooh, look at these alligators, but I bet you boys like these alligators. Well, I want you boys and girls to tell me how many alligators are swimming forward. They are swimming forward towards us, boys and girls. I need the fraction. The fraction of the alligators that are swimming forward. Did you say three-fourths? There are four alligators and three are swimming forward. Yay! Good for you, boys and girls. Boys and girls, here are some cattle on the farm. I want you to tell me the fraction of the brown cattle. So, first you put the number of cattle on the bottom, draw your line, and then count the brown cattle. Put that on top of the line, and what did you get? Did you get one third? One third of the cattle are brown. Great job! Good for you! You are getting smart! Here we are at the pond. What is the fraction of the large fish in this picture? Remember, write down how many fish there are, draw your line, and write the number of the fish that are large. And you should have, yell it out, two thirds, yes! Two-thirds of the fish are large. At the zoo, we see some striped zebras. Can you tell me what fraction of the zebras are striped? Did you say three-thirds? Good for you! There are three zebras and all three of them are striped, so you put the three on top. Makes three-thirds or one whole, which means all of them are striped. Boys and girls, here's our newborn piglets again. Let's try a fraction with them. I want you to tell me the fraction of the 
black newborn piglets. Now, if you need to pause the video, please do. Press the pause button and do your counting. Did you say two sevenths? Yes, there are seven piglets and two of them are black. Two sevens. Yahoo! These pigs are two and a half months old. I want you boys and girls to show me how much you have learned now. I want you to tell me the fraction of the white with the gray spot piglets. Did you say four fifths? Yes, see how smart you're getting? And if you didn't get it, keep trying because you will. Get smart when you keep on practicing your fractions. Now I want to challenge a few of you kids. Can you give me a fraction for the large white fish? See the large white fish there? No, you can't because we need to know the exact number of fish in the water. And it is impossible to count all those fish. So, we will just say goodbye to that big, large fish problem. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed our math lesson today. And keep studying your math. Bye. If you are looking for fun, standard-based math lessons to motivate your child or students to want to learn math, check out my generic math book for children ages 4 through 9 years old.